Dave with Premium Power Wash and today I want to show you guys a quick video on how to clean the vinyl siding on your house. Today I'm at a mobile home that I'm doing a cleaning for. This will work for if you're a small business or even a homeowner. Preferably a homeowner because as a small business I would be downstream injecting uh, to speed up the process. But if you're a homeowner with a mobile home or a house with vinyl siding, this is going to work perfect for you. Really cheap, really easy to do. You don't need to be a rocket science. Buy one of these pump-up sprayers. You get them off Amazon. It's a bleach pump-up sprayer. They run about $15. You get a little two and a half gallon uh, chlorine thing off pinch a penny. They run about $10. In the pump-up sprayer, you want to put an eighth to a quarter of chlorine slash bleach. It's 12.5% strength in the rest water. So if you were to go a quarter of if you were to go a quarter of this with the pool chlorine at 12.5% and the rest water, you're at about a 3% strength. The way you know if it's too strong of a mix is when you apply it to the, the siding. If it disappears instantly, a little too strong. It should take a minute to two minutes for it to actually work. All I'm gonna do is you wanna rinse everything off with water. If you get this on any windows or metal surfaces, that's why you wanna keep everything wet. So I want to wet everything down, apply this, let it sit for, like I said, two to five minutes. You'll see it start disappearing. Then you just rinse it off with water. You're done. So now if your entire house is green, that's then yes, you want to bring in a professional to do it. But if you only have one side of the house or a couple green spots around, this as a homeowner will be your friend. Now, if you plan on using a lot of this, I do recommend to get a paint respirator as you don't want to breathe this stuff in. If you're just touching up a couple little spots here and there, not going to really be that much of a difference. So with this, I use more of a, a spray pattern, like a mist. I'm going to show you on this spot right here. You can see it already wop, wiping away. Right now, I could pretty much see how it just pretty much already, already comes off. Let it sit for about two, three minutes. This thing is going to be crystal clean. You're gonna rinse it off with a garden hose. You're done, that simple. Like I said, if you get it on any metal windows, make sure you are rinsing it off. You do not want it to dry on there. You really don't want it to dry on the siding either where it could cause oxidation. Uh, oxidation being that when you rub your hand against something the white comes off that's how you know something's oxidized but look at it just disappearing in your eyes what's that two minutes in it's already clean pump up sprayer you got about twenty dollars invested you can clean your house otherwise you could have someone like me come out I will use instead of a pump up sprayer a downstream injector with my pressure washer uh, which just speeds up the job. I'm able to do the entire house in a matter of an hour, but I'm gonna charge you two, $300 depending on the size of it. So this is a great way to save money as a homeowner. And just like that, look at this. I didn't even speed this thing up. It is that easy. Comes right off. Now you are gonna have some spots that don't come off right away. That's where I'd rinse everything and reapply it to those really nasty spots. Now some of this, could just be damaged vinyl but as far as organic growth from mold to algae it's gone it's gone with a couple little touch-up spots oh, look at that it's actually all i gotta do is rinse this off with a garden hose and i'm and I'm, I'm done that's simple hope this helped you out if you have any questions please let me know down in the comments below I'm going to make tons of more guides for homeowners and small businesses alike for pressure washing, how to take care of your house with very little cost. As always though, have a great day.